Hey, I'm back again. Um, I just actually, off camera, before we got to this point, I'm still doing some of the weathering with the powders. Then I'm switching over, you know, just doing layers of different media on medium on here. I just recently just took the uh, Model Air US Sand, started doing some highlighting on top of some of the weathering I did, so I just give a little bit of sun like that. I might do more weathering there, I'm not sure, and maybe, maybe bring in a dark color and bring that back down again. You can see where the sand kind of just highlighted this area, make it look dusty. Put some of it over the uh, rub, rubble piles to dusty up that also. And uh, that's a bit for right now. And then real quick, I just want to go and touch these edges up with some black paint. Um, I'm using Model Air Black. I'm putting it right on top of the sand. I almost got that out of the system, but not all the way out. So it'll kind of blend in with some of the other colors. Let's uh, test it out real quick. Yeah, there we go. And we've got this set at uh, 30 pounds, and I'm using the uh, uh, Badger uh, Renegade Velocity. And I want to go where these buildings, there's explosion and burn. So we're going to just kind of take the airbrush and lightly feather in the dark. So this gives a little more realism. And I'm keeping a pretty good distance away because I want it nice and diffused when it hits it. It's just a very light, light misting of it. I mean, when you first look at it, you can't tell, but hopefully on camera you can see right was just kind of laying on top of there. We'll go to this section real quick. Kind of get that just a little bit too dark there, but that's okay. Go to the, this is the back part of the building. Let's get this out so I can see it really well. There we go. Go into there. We don't have to do every square centimeter or millimeter of this of this either to get the effect to look right. And we leave the window alone on the bottom of the sill right here. And then right in this little section here. Maybe a little bit of outside these windows. Maybe some flames that were inside there at one point and licked their way up from the window. So I'm just kind of feathering it up nicely. I may have ran out of paint. Nope. Let's water it down a little bit. I think this paint's a little bit too thick for the brush, but... Let's see, there we go. It's going to on again. There we go. Nice. And let's go with this little edge over here. Let's get this like nice and torched looking. I'm gonna add a little burn and tone all this area down on top of the tile. Get the interior done. Let's see what in there. Get a little closer to the camera. This is a real simple weathering effect, and you can see it's very, very uh, realistic looking. And it's a simple thing. Just it's black paint, lightly. Uh, Feathered on. And like in between the buildings or the rooms. Okay. 
in there. And we'll just keep going over and get it a little bit darker if you want it. Let's do this last do that little effect on this window here where it looks like it's burning up again from the outside or from the inside out. Let's do this window too. One last window and we're done. We don't want to get too much on this. I like that how it cut the So uh, that's it for right now with the black weathering. Um, I'm almost done with this. I'm going to do a couple more detail things. I still want to get the rubber to look a little bit different. I might tone down that sand real quick. Um, that highlight I did, I might, might knock it back a little bit and blend it in. So uh, we'll be back in a second. Thanks for joining me. We're back, and I just want to see if I can just do this dust color. I'm trying to bring it back a little bit. It's a little too light for me. I might even bring it back again because it might, this might make it too new looking, which should, that's not too bad. But the thing is that with airbrush paint, we're using very light layers. This will come off if I wanted to scrape it off with my fingernail probably. But we can just like add more and more layers, add more interest to the area because ground is never a uniform color. Even if you look at a lawn or something like that, there's variations of tone all through it. I'm trying to keep the brush away and just kind of feathering it over, not covering it with a big coat of paint. Let's see this corner right here, it's like darkening it a little bit. Then we have these areas that are kind of I want these rain ruts to look really real. It, it's getting that point. Um, I think I might have to add some more right in there. I don't want to touch the needle in there. I need to add a little bit of shading. So um, I might just go in there with some, uh, some kind of earth. Do I got some darker earth? What can I get in there? There. Now I can't go back into the airbrush, it'll blow it out. See so if I can just maybe... Yeah, I kind of added that, made it look even better. So this is a quick little thing just to do on top of this. And even with the mud brown, we could just take a really from I'm probably about maybe I can take this out. I can really high above this and just kind of just give a really light coating. And it just kind of just gives it that it is the whole thing. It gives it like a dust, like you know, the elements have got to it. And it kind of just it knocks down the color brightness a little bit and gives it a more realistic hue to it. So that's it for right now. That was just a quick little uh, two minute thirty second little uh, part to our sex our, our section here. I think we're in part ten or eleven. Uh, it's late at night. And I kind of forgot. So uh, I will have something in the video somewhere up on the corner or in the down in the corner. So as usual, thank you for joining me. Um, I'll have uh, some more videos up soon. Thanks again.